afternoon. This is, yikes, <laughs> this is our um, second session of reviewing how to make metric measurements. And so today we're talking about mass. Just to review what mass is, definition is the amount of matter in an object. So how much, um, how many atoms and molecules make up the whole object. Our basic unit in the metric system that we use to measure mass is the gram, and we will abbreviate gram with a lowercase g. Some other common unit, units that you may have seen before include the milligram, which measures very small things. You probably have seen it on um, like a box of medicine. Most types of medicine are measured in milligrams. You've also probably heard of kilograms, and that measures things that are much larger. The equipment that we'll use in class this year include the triple beam balance and the digital scale. I would show them to you, but holding them up, I might drop it and break it. So we'll just wait until class for us to actually get some practice using them. So I want to talk about some examples of measurement that you've seen and just apply the abbreviations to these examples. So a grain of salt, this is just one single little piece of salt. What would that typically be measured in, do you think? Should write MG, the M again stands for milli, and then G stands for gram. What about a package of granola bars? <laughs> These would be measured in grams. And finally, the lab tables around the classroom. They're the biggest in this set of examples, and they would be measured in kilograms. So I apologize for the sloppy drawing this time around. It's a little difficult to draw a uh, triple beam balance. I thought it would be a lot easier and then got in the middle of it, and well, that's what we have. Um, so your picture is what you need to refer to and what you need to do when you're making the measurement with the triple beam balance is add up the numbers that all of the um, arrows point to. So our first number is 40. Our second number is 300. Our third number is 7. And then all you do is just add up those three numbers. And we end up with 347 grams. Always remember to put the unit with the number so we know what the measurement is. So yesterday's video we talked about length and we discussed what the prefixes of kilo, centa, and milla meant. So just to review, kilo means 1,000. So one kilogram measures the same thing as a thousand grams. And then one gram is the same thing as how many milligrams? We said yesterday that milli means a thousand. And so our number we'll write down here is also a thousand. It's a pretty quick review today. So if you have any questions, just email me at sparish at amherst.k12.va.us or you can just post a question underneath this video on Edmodo and get some of your classmates involved in discussion. If it's still during school hours, just call the phone at 946-0691 and my extension is 27017. You can leave a voicemail if I don't get a chance to answer. And please don't forget to answer the video check question that will be posted on your class's group wall. I hope you're doing great this afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow.